today we're going to be doing a super simple five ingredient carbonara. First of all, we just need some pasta. You can use any type that you would like. We're going to be using angel hair. Second, we need some bacon. You're going to need an entire pack of bacon for this recipe. Third, you're going to need some Parmesan cheese. Fourth, you just need four eggs for this recipe. And fifth, we need garlic. We're just going to need about two cloves. Next, we need olive oil, pepper, and lastly, salt. So first of all, we just want to start out by cooking our bacon. You can put it on a pan at around medium heat. You know, put it up if you want. Everyone has different styles for cooking their own bacon, but we do want to get it a little bit crunchy for this recipe. Too soft and it won't be good in the pasta. Looking good so far. Now that our bacon is cooking, we can go ahead and start prepping a pan for our pasta water. Go ahead and really salt it good. The salt is gonna help the pasta cook and add flavor while it cooks also. We also wanna go ahead and just add about a tablespoon worth of olive oil. This is gonna help it not stick while we cook the pasta. Next, we can go ahead and just fill this up with some water. I like to use hot water from the sink just because it helps it boil a little bit faster. Once you have enough water, just go ahead, put that on your stove at high heat and get the water to start boiling. Take a quick look at our bacon, give it a mix and we can see that it's cooking well. Next, we need to take a couple cloves of garlic. Go ahead and clean these up, chop the ends off and smash one. With the other clove of garlic, you just want to go ahead and cut it in half. If you smash both of them, you're going to be okay, but cutting it in half is going to make this next step a little bit easier. So as you can see, we're just going to peel this skin off of the garlic. Chop it right in half lengthwise. Next, we can take our mixing bowl that we're going to mix our pasta in, add a bit of olive oil, about a teaspoon worth, and then we can take our garlic clove that we chopped in half, we're gonna mix that in with the olive oil and just rub it all around the edges of our bowl. You really wanna just coat the edges of this bowl well because this is really gonna give some good garlicky flavor and freshness to your pasta. If you do have a metal mixing bowl, this is gonna be good for this. We only have plastic, but metal mixing bowls are better for carbonara because the eggs do actually cook in the pasta. Next, we can go ahead and after we've used our garlic, we can dice it all up. This is gonna, we're gonna add this right into the pasta, just nice and fresh to really, again, add that garlicky freshness to our pasta. I like to dice it up very thinly, and you can do this to whatever your preference is, but just make sure you chop it up pretty good so you're not getting big chunks of garlic bites in your pasta. Nobody likes a big chunk of garlic bite in any type of food. And it looks like our bacon is almost ready. When our bacon is almost ready, let's get a plate ready with just a paper towel on it. Next, mix around our bacon, make sure it's all cooked thoroughly. When it is, we can start to take it off and put it on our plate with our paper towel. This is gonna allow the grease to drain out of the bacon. We don't want all of it gone because it is gonna add some goodness to our the pasta. So we actually are gonna save our bacon grease for later. Next, we can go ahead and just crack four eggs into a bowl. Make sure that if you spilled anything, clean up your workstation. Now we can go ahead and add some salt. Add a good amount, but not too much. And some pepper. Now remember, we can always add more to this dish once it's on the plate, so don't add too much. We also want to add just a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil. And then we want to mix this pretty well. We want to get these eggs nice and mixed before we add our next ingredients. Make sure all the yolks are nice and broken up and it's just an even yellow color. We can go ahead and add our chopped up garlic to the egg mixture. And we can go ahead and add some Parmesan cheese. The Parmesan cheese is to taste. You can add a quarter cup and you can add up to half a cup. Make sure you don't add too much because 
our egg mixture still does need to be liquid so we can mix it up in the pasta well. And that's it. Now that our water is boiling, we can go ahead and add our pasta. Just go ahead and break it in half if you have a smaller pot. Add it in small batches, don't try and add it all at once. After we have all our pasta added, we want to make sure to go ahead and mix the bowl so it doesn't all stick together. Now we can go ahead and start to chop up our bacon. We want to chop it up in pretty small pieces so that it can mix well and evenly throughout the pasta. You want a pretty sharp knife with this because bacon is pretty hard to chop. Make sure to go over it a couple times and make sure that there's no long or big pieces left and it's all nice and chopped. While our pasta is boiling, we want to go ahead and grab about a half cup of this boiling water so that we can add this to our mixture later. Alright, our pasta is done and it is ready to be drained. Make sure you have time to do all these steps at once because you need to do this quickly while the pasta is hot. So first of all, let's take our pasta and add it to our garlic lined bowl. Right after we add that, we want to go ahead and dump our egg mixture into the bowl and start mixing that right away. You want to mix it right away because the eggs are going to cook with the pasta and so you need to mix it to distribute the heat evenly. Make sure to mix it very thoroughly, get everything coated well in the egg mixture and mixed in the pasta good so that every bite has an even flavor. Next, we can go ahead and add our bacon. Along with our bacon, we can go ahead and add some more Parmesan cheese. This, all this Parmesan cheese is gonna melt while you mix the, the pasta. So we are going to even top it with some more once it's plated. But this is just to give the carbonara some cheesy, creamy goodness inside the actual pasta. So we just want to mix this thoroughly. Make sure that bacon is mixed well. It's pretty difficult to get the bacon to mix nice and evenly. And the best way to do it is just keep mixing for a couple minutes. Next, take our hot pasta water that we took out and add this into the pasta. This is just gonna make it just a little bit more creamier and just that little bit more better. Our last step is take the bacon grease that we saved and just add about a couple tablespoons to your pasta mix and go ahead and mix that in. This is now ready to be served and it smells and looks absolutely delicious. All right, we are now ready to plate our dish. So we can go ahead and take some fresh parsley and we can just go ahead and grab a scoop of our pasta. If you would like to do it a little bit of a gourmet style, grab a big plate and just kind of pile it right in the middle. If you don't really want to go the gourmet style and plate it nicely to impress anybody, then you can go ahead and just throw it in a bowl. It's going to taste just as good. But we're going to do this just to make it look a little better and for the sake of the purposes of simple but gourmet. So we just want to take a couple spoons and just kind of shape it into a tall, skinny circle in the middle. The taller the better. Once we get a little bit of a thing going, we can go ahead top it with our fresh parsley. You can just grab three leaves, you know, try to make it look pretty, just spread them around, do it however you'd like. And that really at makes it look that much better, and it does actually add some nice freshness to the dish, which I do enjoy, and everybody else will. So lastly, we can just go ahead and add some fresh pepper to this. And this plate is now done and ready to be served. If you want to go a little extra, you can go ahead and wipe the pepper that you spilled on the edges off to have the plate nice and clean on the edges, as you'll see in the ending picture. 
but you can also go ahead and just add some Parmesan cheese. We wiped the pepper clean, just kind of circling it, getting it all nice and uniform, and look at that. Looks perfect, nice, easy, simple carbonara. This is something that will impress even yourself that you were able to cook this. It is just so easy, so simple, and so good.